Hello, and welcome to LEGO Mindstorm's EV3 Basics. This section will be launching the EV3 program. And we'll be discussing the lobby page, opening projects, both old and new, and the key helps areas that are part of the lobby page and the EV3 program in general. Okay, so let's get started. Double click the LEGO Mindstorms icon. And what you see first is the lobby. And let's focus on the general operation of the lobby page. You'll see over here, there are two columns, both of which can be scrolled through. And you'll notice that on the right column, the options will change according to what is highlighted in the left column, as well as the information just to the right. So at the top of the left column is File, which gives us the options Open Project, New Project, or Open Recent. Open Project, if you follow that through, that gives us the options to open up existing projects, projects we had in the past, so forth. The Open Recent is very similar but it only pertains to projects that have been opened recently. Your open project could have a whole list of projects, but the open recent is only what has been opened recently. And here again, much like the other columns, you can scroll through them. To open that, you would just simply hit open. New project, however, gives you the option to open a new project and a new program or a new experiment, but we won't be going there. That pertains to using sensors in the science way. We're focusing on robots. So if we were to open that, it opens up into a new project and program. Another way of doing the exact same thing is simply to hit the Add Project Plus in the upper left-hand corner you get the exact same thing, but with one step. And you'll notice that I can have multiple projects open, new program, and we'll be going over more of this later. The quick start. What I'd like to focus on here is the user guide, which is loaded with great information. Scrolling through a little bit fast, but it gives you an idea on what it has to offer. Take a look at it if you get a chance. The rest of these are very brief videos with no dialogue that are intended to get you up and running quickly. You might find some helpful information in the teacher support area, but primarily it's geared for the academic side. The Robot Educator is basically a collection of very short videos that illustrate and give examples of programming blocks and hardware, but it also has building instructions for our basic unit and other components. But by clicking on Model Instructions, then Core Set, you get four more options of robots to build. With one highlighted and you click open, you get a video that illustrates how that robot operates. You also get complete building instructions. And you get programming examples. Perhaps the most important help, though, is actually under the Help menu. Click on that, go to Show EV3 Help, and that takes you online where you'll see four categories. Under each category is a list of options. Clicking on any of those options, and you get some nice details regarding that. Now, I'm going to leave you to explore this on your own, but I highly suggest that you do. 
Now the last thing I'd like to show you is down here in the left hand corner. Basically just some other search options for you to check out as well as a community in which you can reference. There again, I'll leave that to you to explore.